there's ten there's ten dudes that live on this bus, so everyone kind of has an understanding you gotta pick up after yourself. Otherwise it gets disgusting very, very quickly. We're in the front lounge of the bus. Lots of beer right in there. Uh, that right there is a Gibson ES335 guitar. Uh, we have catcher's mitts. Uh, I don't participate in that because I'm terrible at it. And uh, what else? Oh, we got a uh, Donald Trump coloring book that someone picked up at a Walmart. I do not watch sports on the bus. The sports fanatic on, on this bus is our sound man, Lee, and our merchandiser, Sean. They talk about baseball stats, and to me, it's it's algebra. I don't I don't get it. We have uh, the coffee maker, which is a bit of an uh, a god on the bus. Lamb of God has a much better coffee game than we do. Willie has a hand. I think he has like a mortar and pestle, and he spends half an hour every morning grinding his own coffee beans, and then he has a manual espresso machine that he squeezes the water through. We're lazy. We have a Keurig. We've got bananas. We've got a, one bag of Cheetos right there. This is our itinerary of the tour we're doing with Lamb of God. Uh, we're about halfway there. Uh, Sunday, the 5th and 22nd is 50% of the tour. This is the day sheet to tell us what we need to do every day because it does get a bit like Groundhog Day. We've got uh, a, one drumstick. We've got literature. JP's reading the autobiography of Miles Davis. I'm reading this, The North Water. Very good book, very graphic. Wow, that's really pathetic. Um, some really, really, really old cream cheese uh, and kombucha. And then we have a freezer filled with candy. Uh, we have another little hidey hole right here. We've got Honey Nut Cheerios, and right next to it, we have some very nice scotch. Anyone's bunk on a bus is sacred territory. You do not mess with it in the same sense you wouldn't mess with someone's bunk in a ship. It's the close your curtain and that's that's your little space. And an air purifier um, for obvious reasons because we're disgusting. This is a uh, this is a shower that's no one's used. We keep beer in the shower. Notorious back lounge where nothing happens other than you know five dudes listening to the Almond Brothers until the sun comes up. Well first it was Tim's mom's van. We bought a, a Connell line like most bands do for you know three grand. In the 90s, we were signed to major labels and we got tour support and we got into a bus, sometimes sharing it with other bands, which is a bit of a psychology experiment at times, but uh, back in the van at the beginning of the 2000s, maybe around 2003 or 4, we started, you know, being able to get into the bus again. Uh, everybody's got their own thing to get away from everybody else. I think we have a very good understanding about body buffer, you know. Myself, um, I try to go to the gym. You know, 25 years of all-you-can-eat free pizza and beer will exact a toll on a man. And uh, John Paul, every, every single day, actually that would be a good thing to show you, is you know, our trailer, after we dump the gear and the merch, John Paul sets up a practice kit in the trailer, and that dude will play drums for six hours. <laughs> Uh, once again, Neil Fallon from Clutch. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the very anticlimactic uh, tour of our tour bus. Be well, be good to yourselves, and rock and roll.